Now, in this video, we're going to focus on uncertainty calculations, but with powers and roots, particularly s squares, cubes, and square roots. So let's begin with this example. Let's say we have 15.0 plus or minus 0.9. So this is the measured value, and this is the uncertainty. But what we're going to do is we're going to square this result. If we square it, what's going to happen? Well, before we apply the calculation, we need to convert the uncertainty into percent uncertainty. To do that, we're going to take the uncertainty divided by the measured value, 15, and multiply it by 100%. So we can rewrite this as 15.0 plus or minus, let me get my calculator, 0.9 divided by 15 times 100. That will give us a percent uncertainty of 6%. Now, let's apply this square. This square will be directed to the 15. So we're going to square the 15. Now for the percentage, it's going to affect it differently. We're not going to square the percentage. We're going to multiply these two numbers. So it's going to be 2 times 6%. So what we're going to get is 15 squared or 15 times 15. That's 225. And 2 times 6 is 12. So we get 225 plus 12%. Now, since our original answer wasn't a percentage, we need to convert back into that form. So what's 12% of 225? That's going to be 225 times 12 divided by 100, which works out to be 27. Now, let's see if the math checks out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the entire range for that value. So 15 minus 0 0.9, that's 14.1. And then 15 plus 0 0.9 will give us 15.9. So this value is somewhere between 14.1 and 15.9. You know what, let me use brackets instead of parentheses. Now I'm going to square both numbers. 14.1, if we square it, that's going to be 198.81. And 15.9 squared, that's 252.81. And I'm running out of space here. Now let's look at the range for our final result. So 225 minus 27, that's 198. And 225 plus 27 is 252. As we can see, uh, these two ranges, they're pretty close to each other. This number is inside the range, but this one is just outside of it. But we can fix that when we round our answer. So looking at the original problem, our measured value had three significant figures. So we don't have to change 225. However, our uncertainty had one significant digit. Here we have two, so what we could do is we could round up to 30. And if we do that, 225 plus 30 will extend the range to 255, which means this answer will be included in that range. So this will be the final answer for this particular problem. So when you're dealing with powers, what you do just review is we're going to square 15 but the percentage we're not going to square it we're going to multiply it by the power but before you do that you need to convert the uncertainty to a percent uncertainty and then you can multiply it by two let's try another problem so let's say we have 18.1 plus or minus 0.8 raised to the third power go ahead and perform the operation with this particular uncertainty value. 
feel free to pause the video if you wish. So first, let's take the uncertainty, 0.8, and divide it by the measured value, 18.1, and let's multiply that by 100%. So this is going to give us a percent uncertainty of 4.4, I guess you could say 199 or 4.42, just to keep it simple. So we can rewrite this as 18.1 plus or minus 4.42%. Now it's still raised to the third power. So we're going to apply the cube now. So this is going to be 18.1 to the third power plus or minus 3 times 4.42 percent. And that becomes 18, well, let's cube it first. 18.1 to the third power. I'm going to need more space. That's 5,929.741 and then plus or minus 3 times 4.42%, that's 13.26%. So now what we need to do is find out how much is 13.26% of the measured value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the two numbers and then divide it by 100%. So this comes out to be in 786.28. Now let's do some rounding. So the original measured value has three significant figures. So let's round this to three sig figs. This is going to become 5,930. Our uncertainty is or contains only one significant digit, so let's round this to one significant digit. So we can round 786 up to 800. So this is going to be our answer, 5,930 plus or minus 800. Now let's try another example, but with a square root. So let's say we have the square root of 23.6 plus or minus 0.5. Go ahead and try this problem. First, let's convert the uncertainty to a percent uncertainty. So let's divide these two numbers and then we're going to multiply it by 100%. So this is going to be 2.1186%. So now let's rewrite the problem like this. We have the square root of 23.6 plus or minus 2.1186%. Now keep in mind the square root is basically the problem raised to the one half power. And it might be easier seen that way. So first we're going to apply the square root to 23.6. So you can write that as 23.6 raised to the one half or simply square root 23.6. Now for this, we're going to multiply the one half to the percentage. So now let's go ahead and plug this in. The square root of 23.6 is 4.85798. So we could say 4. 858. Now half of 2.1186, that's 1.0593%. Now let's convert the percent uncertainty into an uncertainty value or an absolute uncertainty value. So we're going to multiply 4.858 by 1.0593 and then divide that by 100. So this is now 0 0.05146. So now let's do some rounding. 
our measured value have three significant figures, so let's round that to three sig figs. So we can round that up to 4.86. This has only one digit, so we could round this down to 0 0.05. So this is our answer. Now let's go ahead and make sense of our values. So let's get a range for these numbers. 23.6 minus 0 0.5, that will give us 23.1 on the low side. And on the high side, 23.6 plus 0 0.5, that's 24.1. Now let's take the square root of the lower and the upper values. The square root of 23.1 That is 4.806. We can round that to 4.81. And the square root of 24.1 is 4.909, which we can round that to 4.91. Notice that it agrees with the values here. 4.86 minus 0 0.05, that's going to be 4.81. And 4.86 plus 0 0.05. If you were to plug that in, that will give you 4.91. So this means that our answer that we have at the end is a fairly accurate answer. So that's it for this particular lesson. So now you know what to do when dealing with uncertainties, when you have to raise it to the second power, to the third power, or you have to, if you have to take the square root. So remember, whatever the exponent is, you apply it to the measured value. But to the uncertainty in its percentage form, you need to multiply by the exponent.